The Earth is regularly hit by cosmic flak. It's not a question of whether we get bashed, but how devastating the blow. The last time a giant asteroid struck, 65 million years ago, it caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Next time, it might be us. B-32 is ah. just on the end. So terrifying are the possible consequences, NASA now keeps an eye out for killer asteroids as one of its primary functions. At present, we're tracking well over a thousand near-Earth asteroids, and uh, several hundred of those are categorized as potentially hazardous asteroids. But there are literally hundreds of thousands of asteroids yet to be discovered. Consequently, no one can say for certain just when the next impact may be due. What constitutes a hazard? The objects you don't know or the objects you do know? And a very good case example is this asteroid 1950 DA. It has a 0.3% chance of colliding, and that's actually a little bit less than the chance of being impacted by an undiscovered object of the same size. So what would happen if a colossal chunk of cosmic shrapnel came our way? Is there anything we could do to stop it? Well, there's a variety of techniques that have been discussed for deflecting an asteroid, and I think that this is the most likely turn of events if an asteroid has our name on it. The exact technique, of course, is, is a matter of some discussion and study. We could try hurling a few atom bombs at it, but who knows if that would work? And if it doesn't, it's good night, Vienna. Ah! We have some satellite information here, and uh, I have to say, it looks a lot closer than they're claiming. Where's it, where's it going? <laughs> and on local news, we have... Oh, come on, this is very close now. As the asteroid strikes, it causes an unimaginably huge explosion. A vast column of debris and ash has thrown miles into the atmosphere. Hundreds of thousands perish instantaneously as the surrounding area is incinerated. You create a crater maybe ten times the size of the impactor, so you've got a crater maybe three kilometers diameter, five kilometers diameter. Massive shock effects maybe extend 10 or 20 radii beyond that. So you've flattened an area the size of Virginia, for instance. At worst, it's quite possible that the Earth's atmosphere will simply burst into flames. Clearly, this is a very bad thing, since it would cause the instant incineration of all carbon-based life forms. But it might not happen. Instead, our final hours may be slow and agonizing. If a very large asteroid, say more than a few kilometers, hits the surface of the Earth, then it kicks up a large amount of dust and debris. You have global climatic effects. For the unlucky few who survive the initial impact, it's a living hell. Blind panic and social chaos will accompany the most appalling natural disasters. The shock wave will cause massive earthquakes, tearing cities apart. And as for the climate, it'll be like a shower in a cheap hotel, either too hot or too cold. Will it end in fire or will it end in ice? You know, that's the big question. Either way, we'll go out with a bang. Asteroids aren't the only danger out there. Remember Deep Impact? The killer rock in that movie was a colossal comet. But as the average sci-fi fan, and they're completely unaware of this threat. A gigantic rock plunges from space hundreds of times faster than a speeding bullet. It punched through the Earth's atmosphere and struck the ground with the energy of 20 million tons of TNT. The metropolitan area of Los Angeles is completely obliterated. And the destruction is far from over. Seconds later, and 360 miles to the north, a fireball of hot vapor and debris reaches San Francisco, followed by a massive earthquake. Another city is in mere ruins. The aftermath of the cosmic impact is felt across the entire United States. Soot 
travels thousands of miles and covers places as far as New York. This is not an actual event, but it could be if Earth is struck by a large meteor, one of the deadliest types of space weather.